Hey guys, it's Natalie Diaz. You may know me from a lot of different things, Twiniversity, what to do when you're having two, or the newborn twin sleep guide, or perhaps I've simply been your lactation consultant. Today, I'm gonna to put on that lactation consultant hat and I wanna to talk to you about breast massage and hand expression. Now you may say, Nat, why the heck do I need to know these things? I have a pump, that's why I bought a pump. Why do I need to know how to hand express? Well, it's important that you do because what if A, you're without your pump or B, you're in the hospital and you're experiencing some super duper engorgement. Hooking up that pump may not be that effective or let's say it's probably gonna be less effective than your good old digits. So specifically, I wanna talk about this because after delivery within days three to five, give or take a few here or there, you are going to experience kind of this flood of milk coming into you. What triggers kind of the flood of milk is the delivery of your placenta. So it's not as important if you had a vaginal delivery or a C-section, depending, that's it's a few variables in there, but you're gonna see a day five-ish to three-ish, depending also if you had more kids, blah, 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 but you're gonna see this, this kind of engorgement start to occur. Your breasts could look hard, they're gonna be round, they could be shiny, they could be hot, they were super inflamed, they're just angry. And I wanna talk about how we are going to fix that because that is just not comfortable and it's not necessary. So first things first, before you begin either hand expression or breast massage, the first thing that you need to do is wash your paws. Don't use hand sanitizer, really go old school, soap and water, sing happy birthday twice, you know the rules, wash your hands really, really well, and wash your hands anytime you are going to be using your paws to express milk that will be fed to your baby or babies. Now once you're all clean, perhaps you have a food grade oil handy. Now I'll take anything, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, what do you got? Let's use that. And we're going to use it as a massage oil because we do need to have some kind of lubrication between your skin and your hands to really get on in there and alleviate a lot of that pressure. Before we get to specifics, I wanna give you a heads up on what is going on and what engorgement is. And I'm gonna explain this to you in very simple layman's terms, the way that I explain everything to all of my clients. So within your breast, you have little basic homes, right? And those homes are where all your milk is going to be stored. Those are your milk cells. And then you have all these roads that are going to lead to your nipple from those homes, and those are your milk ducts. If your homes are too full or there is too much traffic on the road and there is not enough coming out, you are going to be engorged. And this is where the problems start to happen. So we wanna get ahead of it as soon as possible. So if you wake up and you see that you're super engorged, you're gonna wash your hands, you're gonna grab that oil, and then you are going to massage your breasts. Now you could do this in circular motions, you could go from front to back, you could go from back to front, but if you feel any areas that have any pain, just move to another area. Because if you have a very bad traffic jam, let's say here, alleviating some of the traffic that's here might actually help this traffic start flowing. So it's important that you pay attention to your entire breast, not just the areas that are most accessible. So not only do you have to go from the side to side, you have to go from top to bottom, you have to go from front to back, and I would love if you would go all the way up into your armpits and underneath your armpits, give it a nice gentle massage as well. Now, once you feel maybe a teeny tiny bit of softness, you might see some little driplets coming out of your nipple. Whether this is colostrum, whether this is breast milk, it could have a blue tinge to it, but regardless, this is a good sign that we have something coming out because it means that the traffic is starting to flow. So what you could do is now this is where the hand expression comes in and it is very, very simple. So just make a C, the letter C with your hand and go in line with your nipple Staying behind your areola, gently, gently squeeze and push some of that milk forward. You might feel a lot of impaction right around your areola, and if so, once again, just move to the area that is going to give you the most milk because alleviating some of these jams are going to help the traffic jams over here. So start hand expressing and you'll notice some drops coming out. You might even notice a spray that's like shooting on the walls now and getting your partner or the baby's nursery or even the baby. That is all a good sign. It is up to you whether you want to collect that or not collect that. If you do, you should simply collect it in a sterile cup or a sterile bottle or something that you could be able to actually give it to your babies. 
So once you see that milk is starting to come out, just really continue with that gentle massage all the way around and be very, very, very kind to yourself because engorgement is not fun. And it may not just happen between days three and five. You could get engorged anytime through the first year. There are a lot of factors that come into play when it comes to engorgement, including the way that your baby is latched, including how often your baby is latching. So let's not worry about that. Right now, I'm worried about you and I need you to take care of you. And the way that you're gonna do that is by breast massage and some simple hand expression to alleviate all of that traffic. If you find that nothing is alleviating this traffic, you really should let your doctor know. Not only you should let your doctor know, give me a buzz and maybe I could help or a local lactation consultant in your area. Why this is important to kind of get ahead of it is because if those houses stay too full or those roads stay too full, I worry that you're gonna get an infection, especially in one of those little houses, and that is what is called mastitis. And mastitis is no fun. I am a personal sufferer with a few bouts of mastitis. This is not an uncommon thing to happen with twin moms like myself, so don't get too nervous about it. But as long as we always keep this traffic moving, we should never have to worry about it. But if you ever see any red spots, any tenderness, any heat specifically, and do please look at your breasts every single day, check out the health of your nipple, make sure there's no cracks, there's no little milk blister blebs on there. Take a look, but be super duper kind to your breasts because these are what are feeding your baby. So good luck and happy massaging.